know you're going fast when you get Donald to stop talking. <laughs> just for a second. Just, just for a moment. The house we're going to today is called Bellevue House. Right. Well, that's not its original name, but that really doesn't matter. Now, that's not the asylum where you grew up, right? That was no. in New York. <laughs> exactly. Augustine Cogman was a real classicist. He, of course, wrote the wonderful book on the decoration of houses with Edith Wharton. Right, and who hasn't read that? I dream of genie with the light brown hair. You remember that from when you were in high school, don't you? Yes, yes, and across from the popular TV show. I guess. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I dream of genie with exactly. Barbara Eden. Not quite, but yes, yeah. clear. We gotta get out of here. Thank God we've got a Rolls Royce to do it. Yeah. So for outrunning hurricanes, I'd probably say that 617 horsepower would, would do it. Yeah. I want that sound. There's no car I enjoy more watching the tack sweep across the dial than on this car. Well, in 1927, that was like looking at the space shuttle. Arnold came to my garage. I want to drive the Maybach. You have it here. I have it here. Oh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. You know, he, he, he loved the thing. I think he bought one of them. Well, as an example of how unfair life can be, Donald has chosen to drive the Carrera 2 instead of myself. For years, I never understood why people built outlaw 356s. Right. And then I drove my first Carrera 2, and I said, ah, this is why they do it. You usually don't think about limousines and Fords in the same sentence, do you, Jay? No, no, but that's the way life is. One day you're hosting the biggest talk show in the world, next day you're driving Donald Osborne around an 80-year-old car. So hey, welcome to life, that's the way it is.